Japan is preparing to release treated water from the Fukushima nuclear power plant into the Pacific Ocean. Thousands of people have staged protests in Japan against the release, but many experts are saying it's safe. Joining us live now is Nigel Marks, an Associate Professor of Physics and Astronomy at Curtin University. Nigel, really appreciate your time. Thank you. You've got a background in this area, so I'm keen for you to share your expertise with us. This isn't just a bit of water, is it, that we're talking about here? It's 1.3 million tonnes of water going into the ocean. What is your view? Is that water safe to be released? It certainly is. So it is a lot of water. It's the amount of water that you might find in roughly uh, 500 olympic size swimming pools. So it's it's certainly a, a problem from a physical point of view, and that's why Japanese government uh, needs to do something with it. Um, and within that water, there is uh, radioactivity. That's uh, that, that's obvious. Uh, but the thing is, the amount of radioactivity in that very large volume of water is quite uh, modest. So there's about three grams of something called tritium, and tritium is a radioactive form of hydrogen that's uh, built into the water. Instead of having H2O, it's HTO, so the T stands for tritium. So there's three grams of tritium within uh, a very large volume of water, and that's the, the problem that the government's trying to deal with. OK, and so for all of us here in Australia wondering when the currents might bring that water down our way, you're saying that there's nothing to worry about, and, and particularly by the time it gets down this way, you'd think that that yeah, water absolutely. will be dispersed. There's, a, there's no problem uh, at any point in the globe. So there's certainly no problem here. There's there's no problem in Korea where there's been a lot of uh, political, political opposition. So there was a recent study by the Korean government, their nuclear agency and their Marine Science Institute. Uh, and even in Korea, which is obviously much closer to Japan, the amount of tritium there is so tiny it wouldn't even uh, be measurable compared to the tritium that's already in the ocean. So there's quite a bit of tritium that just naturally occurs and can be found wherever you look. So even in Korea, you couldn't even measure it. And that's saying something because the, the ability to detect radiation is astonishing, as we saw when the capsule was lost here in WA. As we've seen in, in Japan, plenty of people aren't convinced that this is a good idea, nevertheless. What other options are there in terms of disposing of the waste? Are there any other options on the table? There's uh, there's one other alternative that's used uh, throughout the world, so and that's evaporation. So in most uh, nuclear power plants, uh, including in, in Korea and, and elsewhere in Japan, uh, tritium is routinely uh, released into the water. It's a, It's been done for nearly 60 years. And so it's very well understood. And the alternative to ocean release is uh, evaporation. So they're the, the two uh, options that are, are genuine. People have suggested uh, additional options, but these aren't uh, based on uh, science or I would say reality. So one suggestion that was put forward was to use uh, animals, uh, so-called bio remediation, but that's, that's pie in the sky. Uh, and another suggestion was used to uh, make a lot of concrete on site for seawalls and the like, but that also uh, isn't realistic either. So uh, when you make concrete, roughly half the water uh, evaporates into the atmosphere and it's uh, be no good for people to work with. So the ocean releases, it's been very, very carefully considered. Uh, and I, I completely understand that it, it sounds like a weird thing to do, but it's it happens all, all the time. It's happening today all over the world. Uh, exactly the same physical process of water with tritium is being released into the ocean. And uh, it, like I said, it's been happening for 60 years. There's not a shred of evidence to show that there's anything wrong with doing that. There's very good understanding of what tritium is. It's the weakest of all the, the radionuclides in, in this context. So it's, it's just one of those things that it sounds bad, but actually isn't. OK, well, that's a relief to hear at least. How is the cleanup of Fukushima progressing? I mean, so many years on, it seems like it's been a very slow process. It has, it has. It's a very complex uh, operation. There was different ways in which uh, the, the site was damaged. There are some uh, videos online which people can fairly easily find that are extremely impressive, that, that give you video tours of the site and you can get a sense of how they're beginning to, to grapple uh, with the problem. Um, in many of the areas, the workers can walk around without radiation protection, which is great. Um, and they and robots have now gone inside the reactors, and it's it's a bit of a sorry sight. It has to be said. It's uh, it wasn't an, an uncontrolled, you know, nuclear accident. So it will they'll just keep chipping away at it. But one of the things they need is space. And these uh, these tanks of water with this three grams of tritium, 
are just using up so much physical space on the site. And so they just have to do something with it, something realistic. Um, and so that, that's why the plan is to release it into the ocean. Uh, I just should add that uh, it won't hurt the ocean, it won't hurt the fish, it won't hurt the people who eat the fish. The levels of, of radiation that you could get even in the most unrealistic scenario are, are absolutely trivial. They're, they're down with, you know, biting on a banana or, or having your tooth x-rayed uh, to see if you've got uh, cavities. So there's no, there's no health risks to, to marine life, to the environment, to people. Um, it just it just looks bad. Okay, well, Nigel Marks, thank you. I think we can all probably sleep a little easier after that explanation. Appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Thank you.